Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel and into this video guys, let us answer the question from one of my viewers regarding this video. She said, can you show me how to do that with combo box, not text box? Because when I do that, the duplicate combo box only see the ID of the main combo box and not the value. So this is the sample of her problem guys. So for example, if we choose this Eduardo Gulpan, so this name Eduardo Golpan should be reflected in this text box. But the result is this one, the ID number. So again, Edsel Jan. So the ID of Edsel Jan is being reflected in this duplicate uh, field. Unlike this one, guys, this is what you want. So if we choose Eduardo Golpan, so Eduardo Golpan. And also, if we choose Edsel Jan, the result would be Edsel Jan. So, how to fix this? If you are still interested, please watch this video until the end. And please subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Let us create a new one. So, let's go to the design view. And then let us add a new combo box. Okay, it's okay. Next. Employee list. And then, I want this. Next. Next. And then let us expand to have more space. Okay. Expand. And then let us add also a new text box. For example, let us rename this as new duplicate. And also this one, the name of this is new dup stands for new duplicate. Okay. Let us see. Okay, close this. Open again. So, if we choose Eduardo Gulpan, nothing's happened because we don't have the uh, code yet. So, let us add the code, guys. So, click this and then go to event and then after update. Click here and then the three dots. Click that and code builder hit OK. So, remember, guys, let's go back here in our form. The name is new dope and also this one is combo 20. So let's type me that new dope equals me that combo 20. So that's it. And let's go back to our form. So close this. Open again. So let us select Eduardo Gulpan. And the result, guys, is same with this problem. It's still done. Okay. So how to fix? Let us go to the design view of this form. And then go to the data. And then click the row source. The straight dots. So this is the result, guys. Or this is the reason why um, the ID number is reflected to the uh, second text box. Because this is constant, guys. So, what we will do is, we have to indicate the value of this column in our BBA code. And in counting, guys, in counting the column, guys, it's not 1, 2, 3, but it is 0, 1, 2, 3. It always starts with 0, not 1. So, the value, column value of the employee name is 1. So, remember this. So, let us go to our BBA code. And then let us add the column. The column value is 1. That's it. And then let's go back. Close this. Yes. And here we go. So this is it, guys. So let us select Eduardo Gulpan. Okay, Eduardo Gulpan. And Edsel Jan. Edsel Jan also. So for example, guys. Let us add a, um, what we call this one, the row source, let us add the department. And then we will indicate this department. Um, so 0, 1, 2. If we choose 2, close. If we choose this one, Eduardo Gulpan, the department IT, 
Edsel Jan Finance. So that's it guys. So I hope this video helps you a lot. And if you have uh, any question about this one, so feel free to comment it down below. So that's all guys. Thank you and see you to my next video.